Now, a senior British lawyer hired to prosecute Hong Kong media mogul Jimmy Lai and other opposition figures has dropped out of the case. David Perry's decision to step down follows widespread criticism in the UK. The lawsuit relates to an illegal demonstration in 2019. British barrister David Perry has served as prosecutor in some of Hong Kong's most high-profile trials. But his involvement in prosecuting prominent pro-democracy activists sparked a firestorm of criticism. Mr. Perry was set to be lead prosecutor in the case against nine opposition figures, including veteran Democrats Martin Lee, Lee Chuck Yan, Lung Kwa Kung, as well as media mogul Jimmy Lai. All of them are facing charges related to an illegal anti-government protest in August of 2019. But politicians and activists in the UK have questioned whether British lawyers should be helping Beijing in its crackdown on dissent in Hong Kong. I don't understand how uh, anyone in good conscience <clears throat> from the you know, world-leading legal profession that we have would take a case where they will have to apply the national security legislation at the behest of the authorities in Beijing. I think people watching this would regard it as pretty mercenary to be taking up that kind of case. The, the fact that certain very high-ranking officials uh, have uh, uttered words such as mercenary is, with respect, disgraceful to such a reputable council. The trial Mr. Perry was involved in is not a national security case, but a number of the defendants are facing national security charges in other lawsuits. In light of Mr. Perry's withdrawal, the Hong Kong government has appointed new counsel with the trial set to proceed on schedule next month. Dennis Chong joins us live from Hong Kong for more. Dennis, uh, what are the implications of Mr. Perry stepping down from the case? The news about David Perry quitting the case came early Wednesday when the Department of Justice cited concerns about pressures around the case and Mr. Perry's decision to step away from it. You know, the prominent Queen's counsel is actually very well known to the legal community in Hong Kong. He has handled some of the highest profile cases, including the bribery trial against former Chief Executive Donald Trump. And back to the case today, the nine people, including media tycoon Jimmy Lai, they were accused of organizing and taking part in illegal assembly in 2019, but they were in fact not charged with any national offences in this particular case. This was rightly pointed out by Justice Minister Theresa Zhang. However, some of the activists concerned are facing separately national security charges, including Mr. Lai. With now David Perry withdrawing, the Justice Minister said her department has already found a replacement, as we just said, which is a local council, and the case will continue as scheduled on February 16th.